<laughs> Our next guest brings with her a recipe that has traveled a long way, which is actually all the way from northern Italy. Okay, you ready right. to eat today? Absolutely. Oh boy, here to teach you the best way to make stuffed shells is Grandma Deanna. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> all day. <laughs> you have no idea. We're starting out with a pound of veal. Oh, she's getting right to it. <laughs> we don't want to know about her, just get right to the food. I mean, you're my kind of girl. <laughs> one pound of veal, one pound of ground round steak, brown. <laughs> so cute. Four, four eggs beaten, dumped in, <laughs> cooked everything well. Oh, very well. Now, does it matter what kind of meat you use? One pound of ground veal, it has to be one ground pound veal. ground veal. I mean, ground round steak, because that's the way I was taught. Yes. <laughs> now tell us about uh, your grand. Your mother was from. My mother was born in the United States. My father was born right outside of Rome. Wow. So we had. Um, my mother was Sicilian, and she really. The Sicilians are very. Um, they used a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. They used. Uh, they eliminated a lot of meat because they didn't have it. Right. Whereas my father, being from the northern part, they they used a lot of veal. And they were very picky, picky, picky. Yeah. The, uh, uh, to my father, the, the Sicilian raviolis with cheese does not cut it. You gotta have right. meat. <laughs> so. Now, Italians don't normally give their recipes away. Oh, yeah. You Are you do. just feeling in a good mood today? I have tried to get an Italian recipe. Listen, Never works. I've cooked for 56 years and I've made all the shortcuts. I'm, I've made many shortcuts. Really? Possible. You're not going to leave out anything, nope. right? <laughs> the first thing you do is you learn to go as fast as you can because you got she, And She did, didn't she? All right, so what's our next step? We okay. kind of mix that around. We got that mixed. You have two packages of chopped spinach, and you have to drain the spinach very, very well because you don't want water. No. So you take your spinach. I didn't do that, but you would put two packages of drained spinach in there. Mm -hmm. Cook everything two or three minutes. After you've cooked that spinach in there, you take, which is about a pound and a quarter Ooh. of Pecorino Romano. That's the only cheese yeah. you use. Okay. But you take this off the heat. You do not mix the cheese. Oh, Whoop. we got a man down. Five second roll. I can't find it. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we have another spoon around here. Do we need one, Grandma? Yeah, we're going to stir, stir this in there. We got one of these. <laughs> anyway, that's what you do. You'd stir this in, but you always take the meat, the other mixture, off the stove. Mm -hmm. Never never mix your cheese in with hot meat. You really? Let it, you want it to be cooling, so that's what we do. Then, when Look we're finished... Look what I found. <laughs> this is... I have boiled 20 shells at a time. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't do more than that. It, it's too hard on you. Yeah. So you boil 20 shells. Okay. You use a can of Hunt's sauce, put it in the bottom. Hunt's sauce. Layer that, take your shells. Do you want me to help you? Do you want to do this? Let's... No, no. Because, no, oh. no, because uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have a mess. All right, we don't want a mess. Then you take your, what you want is you want those shells to be pliable. Yes. You don't want them, you no know, tough. You want to be able to move them. Right, right. You're going to go five across. And it took me a long time to find the right pants. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> you go five across. Uh-huh. Four down. This is what it looks like before you top it with this sauce. Okay. Which is a can and a half of sauce. Okay. Okay, you can put that on there. Oh, you good. got a black dress on. Yes. <laughs> so if I'm wearing this, it doesn't matter. So just kind of pour it over. Okay. You want to cover all the. <laughs> you want to cover the shells because you don't want any of them to cook up and get hard. Right, right. And if you don't, you know, you have to, you have to use your own judgment. If you can, think, you use more sauce. Yes, you, yes can. you can. It's all about the sauce. You're you're used to making a well, large quantity, right? Yes. At one time. Mm -hmm. So this is perfect. What happens is after years of experimenting. Yeah. I couldn't spend a day in the kitchen making sauce. So that's I tried and tried and tried. You've tried? And I finally came up with Hunts. <laughs> Commercial. <laughs> Brought to you by Hunts. <laughs>
I couldn't help it. I tried everybody it's overrated. else. <laughs> Homemade stuff is so overrated. I hear you. Especially when you're cooking for 35 to 40 yes. people, you want to go as fast. And this is it. I make my stuffing the night before, get that all refrigerated, uh -huh. do 20 shells at a time, cook them 10 minutes, drain them very, very well. You do not want water left in the bottom of that shell because it'll come out with yes. your... Stick them in the refrigerator after you've decided what you're gonna do. When you're getting ready to cook them, take them out and pour a can, and a can and uh -huh. a half, whatever, over them. Okay. Bake them in the oven, completely covered with foil. Look who we have. I, I'm sorry, I had to bring in your granddaughter. Oh, grandma. She is lovely. We didn't today, not even on purpose. <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth has been our intern for the past several months, and you have been awesome. And she got a job. I did. You well, were, a postgraduate internship. And so you are working with? The Cleveland Browns right now. So. Woo! That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, so I'm exciting. so proud of you. But these Tell us about Grandma. Grandma's the bomb. She uh, makes these stuffed shells for us for Christmas, so this is what we eat. And they asked, what are you, do you know people who cook? I was like, Grandma. 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 She grandma had cooks. talked about this a couple of months ago. She's like, can I bring in my grandma for the show? We're like, yes, because grandmas always make the best food. Not my grandma, Pizarro. She was a terrible cook. Oh. <laughs> Well, I hope she's not watching. No, she's long dead, but oh. <laughs> Ask my son. He Nobody ate Grandma Pizarro's cooking. <laughs> I love her. Can we I keep don't her? know. Go for Can it. Can we keep her? I want her back. Gra Gra <laughs> Grandma Pizarro was an aristocrat. When she came to the United States, oh. she had to make do, and she couldn't cook. That's, That's a shame. I don't know who pe people who can't cook. I mean, it's just absurd. She hasn't been here long enough. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. All right, Grandma Deanna, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming in. It was a pleasure. You were marvelous. You are welcome back anytime, okay? Okay. Promise you'll come back? Oh, yeah. Okay, baby. All right. <laughs> take Thanks your to shoes listen. off. <laughs> I did take my shoes off.